everyone welcome back to biophilia your all time study mate today we are going to continue our chapter about neural control and coordination if you like this video or get some help then don't forget to like share and subscribe to our amazing channel biophilia so here we are to understand about the second major chunk of the chapter that is about the sense organs so we had studied about the peripheral nervous system jo tha all about the nerve supply फिर हमने देखा था अबाउट द सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम दैट वाज अबाउट द टू मेजर ऑर्गन दैट इज ब्रेन एंड द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड ना ऑल दैट थिंग्स वर द इंटरनल पार्ट्स बट हु आर द विंडोज ऑफ द बॉडी सो विंडोज ऑफ द बॉडी और आईज ऑफ द बॉडीज आर नथिंग बट गोइंग टू बी द रिसेप्टर्स व्हिच आर गोइंग टू सेंस द एक्सटर्नल एनवायरमेंट सो फर्स्ट मेजर रिसेप्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी दैट इज गोइंग टू बी द ऑल फैक्ट्री रिसेप्टर्स व्हिच आर आल्सो नोन एज द स्मेल रिसेप्टर्स सो स्मेल रिसेप्टर है सो वेरी वेल यू नो द लोकेशन वेर इज द स्मेल रिसेप्शन गोइंग टू ऑकर इट इज गोइंग टू ऑकर इन द नोज बट स्पेसिफिकली द नोज इज द ऑर्गन दैट इज फॉर द रिसेप्शन ऑफ स्मेल बट वेर इज द पैच वेर इज द रिसेप्टर लोकेटेड इट इज इन द ऑल फैक्ट्री एपिथीलियम विच इज लोकेटेड एट द रूफ ऑफ द नेजल कैबिटी now there are some cells which are going to help in the process of reception of smell so first is the olfactory receptor cell which is going to act as a sensory receptor so sensory receptor jo bhi changes ho rahe hai in the external environment is going to be sensed and it will be conducted and conduction ke liye what should be there there should be neurons so these neurons are nothing but the bipolar neurons so bipolar neurons you must have remembered till now that bipolar neurons are going to have one dendrite on one side whereas the other end is going to be axon so this is nothing but a bipolar neuron whereas if you can understand unipolar neurons only had axons whereas dendrites were absent in those so likewise the different types of neurons we had studied previously so these all factory receptor cells are nothing but bipolar neurons so each of this cell is going to be a spindle shaped cell or with thin thin apical dendrites only since they are bipolar and this will terminate at a knob which bears non motile cilia and these cilia are nothing but the all factory hairs now these all factory hairs are going to be the hairs that move with the change in the direction and because of the changes or the movement of the hair there is going to be action potential developed that is going to stimulate the dendrites aur jaise hi dendrites mein action potential aayega that is going to be transmitted through one neuron to the other so all these receptor cells are going to be unique and since these are unique to their function these are also going to die because these are living cells and living cells are mortal they are going to die some or the other day so these when die are they are going to turn over that means new cells are going to replace them and that is only a you know condition jaha pe the neurons are going to be developing after the birth as well so that is one of the exceptions of that that the neural cells are going to regenerate even after birth the second kind of cells that we study are the supporting cells so these cells are going to support what so these are the columnar cells long column like cells which are going to lie in between the olfactory receptor cells yani ye bipolar neurons ke beech mein rahenge so that these uh, you know receptor cells are going to get some support out of them so it might be in sort of you know regeneration of these cells or some other movement purposes or any sort of support that they need is going to be provided by these kind of columnar cells so this are going to be the cells that you can distinguish very clearly because this are going to be producing brownish yellow pigment because of which these cells are more in number and that gives the olfactory epithelium the yellowish color because of these supporting cells so the next type of cells are going to be the basal cells basal cells these are small cells and as the name basal suggests these are going to be present at the base so these cells are going to give rise to new olfactory receptor cells and that will be replaced 
when the old ones are going to get worn out. So, nay olfactory receptor cells banane honge, then the basal cells are going to help in that process. So, it is the exception that we need to understand. Generally, we see that the neural cells are the cells that do not regenerate or these do not form again after the birth of the child. But this is the exception for the uh, olfactory receptor cells that since even being bipolar neurons these are going to form from the basal cells so that is an exception that our body has then these olfactory receptor cells as we say that these are going to die after few days few months or few years but what is the exact time so majorly these live for about two months so her do mahine baad, the basal cells are going to convert themselves or they will mature themselves to form the bipolar cells that are nothing but the new olfactory receptor cells now, how is about the, you know, protection of this particular olfactory epithelium? Because this is a very important part. Because if this olfactory epithelium doesn't work, then the sense of smell will be lost. So that should not happen. So olfactory glands or the Bowman's glands, so not to get confused between Bowman's capsule and Bowman's glands. So Bowman's capsule, jo hai, where do you find Bowman's capsule? Bowman's capsule is find is regarding the excretory system. But here the Bowman's glands are regarding your nasal system. So nasal cavity may be present hongi, and this are going to secrete mucus so that the epithelium can stay moist and this moistness is also going to help the you know different chemicals which are going to be sensed for the smell so moist agar mucus secrete nahi hoga then might happen that there is no sense of smell even if the olfactory receptor cells are functioning properly so mucus will also help the cells to be away from the dust and bacteria because this is kind of a sticky material mucus is sticky so because this, this sticky substance is secreted all over the epithelium this dirt and bacteria that passes with the inhaling air this is going to get stuck and the cells will not get infected because of these infectants now after getting familiar with all the different kinds of cells that are present in this uh, epithelium for the sensory receptions now we come to the point where we exactly cells ek taki kaam kaise karte. how do we exactly smell the things so smelling of these things is going to depend upon when the chemicals around our cells are getting into the nasal cavity when we breathe so kuch chemicals ya kuch substances aise hote hai that are called as odorants for example right ki samjho kisi ne ganda socks sung liya ya perfume chhidka hai uske chote chote particles you can see in the light right so all these things are going to enter into your nasal cavity now once these enter into the nasal cavity, the mucus is secreted. Right? So this mucus that is secreted is going to make the air moist. And once the air is moist, what will happen? This odorants are going to get dissolved into that particular area. Now as they dissolve, there are going to be cilia, the hair-like cells that are going to be present. Now these hair-like things are going to attach to these odorants. So, as the odorants or the cilia contact me, there is going to be, a, you know, leading of action potential. So, as the action potential develop, hoga, what will happen from the olfactory receptor cells? It is going to start its action potential and it will reach and synapse to the glomerulus. Wherever the area is of the synapse, so synapse kis ke saath ho raha hai? It is happening the synapse that is olfactory receptors ke axons and the mitral cells dendrites. So there are two cells and the synaptic area is going to be called as glomerulus. Now this glomerulus is going to be present in a bulb like structure or in a kind of a you know lobular structure that is called as olfactory bulb. So this olfactory bulb are going to have many synapses, bohot sare olfactory receptors ke axons and they are going to form the synapse with the mitral cells. 
मिट्रल सेल्स भी एक दो तीन ऐसे नहीं है दे आर ऑल्सो इन लार्ज नंबर ऑफ क्वांटिटीज एंड ऑल द मिट्रल सेल डेंड्राइट्स विल हैव अ स्नैप्स वेर एज द एक्सॉन्स आर गोइंग टू गो फॉरवर्ड और सारे के सारे एक्सॉन्स एक साथ आके क्या हो जाएगा दे विल कलेक्ट एंड दे विल मूव आउट ऑफ द बल्ब एंड वंस दे मूव आउट ऑफ द बल्ब दीज आर गोइंग टू फॉर्म द ऑल फैक्ट्री ट्रैक्स एंड दे विल रीच टू द टेम्पोरल लोब ऑफ द सेरिप्रम टेम्पोरल लोब में क्या होगा देर द टेम्पोरल लोब इज मेनली यू नो फंक्शनिंग फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ सेंसेशन ऑफ स्मेल सो जो भी एक्शन पोटेंशियल आया है दैट इज गोइंग टू बी अंडरस्टूड बाय द टेम्पोरल लोब इंटरप्रिटेशन होगा दैट विल गिव यू एन आइडिया वॉट सॉर्ट ऑफ स्मेल दैट यू टुक सो इफ वॉट इफ इट वॉज अ गुड स्मेल यू माइट थिंक टू स्टे देर बट अगर वो ऑडरेंट बहुत बुरा था and you don't like that smell or if you had some past experiences then you will move out of that area saying that yahan pe bahut gandi badbu aa rahi hai so all that things is going to happen because of this sense of smell that is occurring because of the olfactory receptor cells now generally we have uh, you know uh, understood by different understandings that is women are going to have much more keener smell right so they women during the time of ovulation so once you uh, see about the sense of smell if you compare the sense of smell in the case of women and and in the case of men so who is going to have more keener smell it is going to be the women and majorly women even at the time of ovulation at the time of ovulation women are going to be much more you know uh, receptant to the different kinds of smell aur wo bahut zyada chote chote barik smellon ko bhi differentiate kar sakte hain now one more thing if you want to maintain your sense of smell if you want to you know keep your healthy sense of smell then never ever smoke because if the person is smoking or if the person is you know working in some area jahan pe bahut zyada smoke hai then that is going to damage the all factory receptors so if smoking is continued all factory receptors are going to get damaged or jaise hi all factory receptors damaged honge the sense of smell is going to deteriorate but another thing is also there that is aging jaise hi age badhegi the regeneration of that all factory receptor cells is going to decrease and because that is decrease that is the basal cells do not form new receptor cells because of that we use it also there is going to be decreased sense of smell so two things that we saw who has greater sense of smell and who is going to get damaged sense of smell so it is because of smoking as well as because of aging so jab ye conditions hote hain jahan pe reduced smell hai okay whenever there is reduced smell or reduced sense of smelling what do you say it is reduced smell that means reduced is the word that we use is hypo jabki smell is going to have the word osmia so that is going to lead to a condition that is called as hypo osmia right so hypo is reduced osmia is smell so reduced smell conditions are going to be present during smoking or because of aging so that was about the sense of smell moving towards the next receptors that is the taste receptors are also called as gusto receptors so this is located as you know taste ke liye organ sense organ kaun sa hai it is going to be the uh, you know tongue so majorly the taste buds are going to be having these taste receptors and majorly located on to the tongue but sometimes you might also find few in the palate few in pharynx epiglottis or even in the proximal part of the esophagus so majorly kaha milenge major is the tongue area where many of them are found whereas in very few quantities they can be also found in the nearby surrounding areas now what are the cells again so the first important cell which is going to sense the taste that is the gustatory receptor cells so these again are going to have some projections jaise pehle wale mein cilia the here you are going to have free end microvilli which will be projecting into the taste pore 
and once the microvilli is going to come in connection with the different kinds of you know protein receptors a protein receptor jaise hi khane ke contact mein aayenge there is going to be some chemical changes and because of the chemical changes there is going to be action potential generated and because of that these are called as castratory receptor cells so these can sense they can recept the different kinds of changes that are occurring so how are these cells actually going to be kind of a nervous cell because they are going to have supply of different nerve fibers so nerve fiber number 7 of the cranial nerves that is facial nerve yeah cranial nerve number 9 that is hypopharyngeal nerve or cranial nerve number 10 that is vagus nerve all these are going to be surrounded nearby the gustatory receptor cells and because of these are nearby they are going to form a synapse with them and these receptor cells as the previous ones were lasting for about 2 months but gustatory receptor cells kitne din rahenge they will be lasting about 10 days because these cells are much more prone to get different kinds of areas that is directly connected jaise aapne bahut zyada garam pani pee liya aur bolte ho na ki hamari tang jal gayi ya the tang starts feeling different why does it happen because in that particular area these kind of taste buds have been डेड या इनको बहुत ज्यादा डैमेज हुआ है एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट डैमेज ऑल्सो दीज दस्टेजी रिसेप्टर सेल्स आर गोइंग टू गेट डाइड ऑफ सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट रीजन द नॉर्मल एज ऑफ द सेल्स आर ऑल्सो केप्ट अराउंड टेन डेज एंड आफ्टर टेन डेज न्यू सेल्स आर अगेन गोइंग टू गेट जनरेटेड द नेक्स्ट काइंड ऑफ सेल्स अगेन लाइक वी सॉ इन द ऑल फैक्ट्री सेल्स दैट वॉज अबाउट द Uh, supporting cells so these are the supporting cells which will be lying between the gustatory receptor cells and they will have microvilli but unke paas nerve endings nahi honge so jaise nerve endings so receptors ke paas the coming from different cranial nerves but here there will be no nerve endings the third type of cell is the basal cell so this basal cell is again as the word basal that means it will be around at the base so these cells are found at the periphery of the taste bud and this will be producing the supporting cells which will in turn develop into the gustatory receptor cells right so these were the three kinds of cells that are seen in the taste reception but how does it exactly work so working of this taste sensation is going to happen when the food is chewed into the buccal cavity jaise hi daanton se mastication ho raha hai it is getting mixed with the saliva and as soon as it gets mixed with the saliva there is going to be formation of a solution aur ye solution टंग के ऊपर से जब पास होता है देर आर मेनी स्पेसिफिक केमिकल्स दैट कम इन टू कॉन्टैक्ट विथ द प्रोटीन रिसेप्टर साइट्स वंस इट कम्स इन टू द प्रोटीन रिसेप्टर साइट्स कॉन्टैक्ट देर इज गोइंग टू बी अ चेंज इन द कस्टेटरी रिसेप्टर सेल्स एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस केमिकल चेंज देर इज गोइंग टू बी अ इम्पल्स सेट और ये जैसे ही इम्पल्स सेट होगा इन द रिसेप्टर सेल्स सिंस दे हैड सिनेप्स विद डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ क्रेनियल नर्व देर इज गोइंग टू बी इम्पल्स इन द सेंसरी नर्व एंडिंग्स एज वेल एंड ऑल दीज नर्व फाइबर्स नाउ वेल कम टूगेदर एंड ट्रांसमिट दिस इम्पल्स टू द टेस्ट सेंटर अब टेस्ट सेंटर कहा है टेस्ट सेंटर इज इन द पेराइटल लोब वेर एज द प्रीवियस वन वॉज वेर इट वॉज इन द टेम्पोरल लोब बट दिस टेस्ट सेंटर इज गोइंग टू बी इन द पेराइटल लोब एंड इन द पेराइटल लोब है सुन एज द एक्शन पोटेंशियल रीचेस देर इज गोइंग टू बी सेंसेशन ऑफ टेस्ट सो दिस इज द पाथवे और यू कैन सी द वर्किंग ऑफ दिस टेस्ट रिसेप्टर्स now that was all about the two types of sense organs or you can say two types of receptors the rest of the receptors will be covered in the next few videos so if you liked this one then don't forget to like share and subscribe to our amazing channel and till the time we come back soon with the next part of these receptors bye bye everyone thank you